In Europe today, one of the many unfortunate consequences of pandering to the bigotry of Muslim immigrants has been a rise in anti-Semitism, not that Europe has ever needed much encouragement on that score. And this has breathed life into a whole host of previously dormant conspiracy casualties who would love to believe that Jews control the world. It seems like almost every day now I hear from somebody telling me that I should educate myself about Jews, how evil they are, how they manipulate everything so that they can control the world. Apparently, Jews are responsible for all kinds of horrible things, including 9-11, well, that goes without saying, and even the curse of multiculturalism. That's right, all those Jews who are being driven out of Europe by hate-filled Muslim immigrants are actually victims of a Jewish plot to destabilize the world so that they can control it, I guess. I don't know, I'm a little light on the details, but then most people are. Compared to the number of Muslims and Christians on this planet, not to mention Hindus and Buddhists, Jews are a handful of people. They're a tiny percentage of the population. Nearly half of them live in Israel, a country the size of a county, and more are being driven there every day, especially from Europe, where it's become fashionable to use the Israeli government's behavior as an excuse for the kind of open anti-Semitism we've become used to hearing from Muslims. At anti-Israel demonstrations in Europe, you're likely to hear calls for Jews to be gassed. We've even had the spectacle of a Dutch member of parliament in the front line of such an event. In Sweden, Israeli athletes can no longer even compete without being attacked by violent mobs because the police can't or won't protect them. Hate crimes against Jews outnumber those against Muslims and many of them are carried out by Muslims for no other reason than they've been taught from childhood to hate Jews. Meanwhile, day in and day out, we have to listen to their endless hypocritical horseshit about Islamophobia. It's enough to make you want to throw up. I don't like some of the stuff the Israeli government does either, but I support Israel's right to exist and to defend itself against people prepared to use women and children as human shields. I no longer believe that the Israelis should give back Jerusalem. I still think they're holding it for a stupid reason, religion, and it doesn't get any more stupid than that. But experience has taught us that the Islamic mentality views any concession as weakness to be exploited further. And besides, too many so-called Palestinians seem less concerned with peace and freedom than with driving the Jews into the sea so the bombings wouldn't stop. The whole world knows there could have been a peaceful settlement many times in the past, but for incompetent and corrupt Palestinian leadership. Now, in Gaza, they've saddled themselves with Hamas, a bunch of fundamentalist religious thugs who don't want peace at any price. For Hamas, the enemy is not Israel, the enemy is Jews. If you support Hamas, you support people who want to exterminate Jews, not for being Israelis, but for being Jews. And you support a culture where Jew hatred is bred right into the children. I hope you're proud of yourself. I think Israel's in the wrong place, I've said it before. It couldn't be in a worse place, given the hateful mentality of its neighbours, but it's a bit late to do anything about that now. The fact that a Jewish state needs to exist at all, and it does need to exist, is an indictment of all humanity, and especially the Catholic Church, whose centuries-long programme of aggressive Jew hatred has been ingrained right into the European psyche so that it takes almost nothing to bring it out. And that's why, if I were a Jew, even a non-Zionist, peace-campaigning, liberal Jew, and there are plenty of them, I would want to see a strong Israel. Because when push comes to shove, people simply will not stand up for Jews. We've seen it historically in Europe, and in the wake of the Islamic invasion, we're seeing it again today, especially from the self-styled anti-fascists. What a joke you people are. The truth can often be painful when you don't want to hear it, but you're going to bloody well hear it anyway. And the truth is that Jews have contributed more to humanity than any other group of people. Way more than Muslims. Vastly more than Muslims. We're talking different planet more than Muslims. Jews receive a disproportionate number of Nobel Prizes, real ones I mean, not the bullshit peace one, because they're at the top of sciences, medicine, technology, you name it. Wherever there's progress in this world, you'll often find some Jew in there making all the difference. Israel today is a world technological leader, alone in the Middle East, like a diamond in a sea of mud. Compared to Jews, Muslims are passengers on planet Earth getting a free ride. Even the wealth of the Muslim world comes pouring straight out of the ground. If it didn't, they wouldn't have any. 
It's pathetic and it's no wonder the Muslim world is so quick to petulant childish anger. They must have a very poor self-image and who can blame them? But they're the only ones who can do anything about it. They can choose to drag themselves into the 21st century and leave this filthy garbage behind or they can carry on humiliating and degrading themselves with hysterical Jew hatred and we'll carry on judging them on it as an embarrassment to the human race. I do hope that doesn't offend. As for you people who keep telling me that Jews control the world, you know, even if that were true, I would much rather that Jews control this world than Muslims any day, and so would every other sane person on the planet. But it isn't true, and I don't want to hear about it anymore if that wouldn't be too much trouble. So if you really believe that Jews are evil manipulators with their fingers in everyone's pie, or if you really believe that some sinister Jewish cabal is controlling you from above like a marionette, then please, don't tell me about it. Tell a doctor but maybe not a Jewish one. Peace.